Welcome to Jelly Belly Crawl. This is a game that I found recently on the Steam store. Published August 18th. It is currently August 22nd, so four days later. It is supposed to be a Battle Royale game, and I have no clue if my 2.4 gigahertz, if if that, computer can, fi can handle this game. It is so shitty. The computer, not the game. I haven't played the game yet. I'm gonna publish this regardless, unless it's absolutely shitty. In which case, then I'm sorry. I mean, in which case, then it wouldn't matter. But if I do publish it and it is extremely shitty, then I'm sorry. But it looks like I'm able to handle it so far. So it, lo it, looks, it looks really good, honestly. And I'm actually genuinely surprised that my computer is handling this. But it did say at the very beginning of this game that while keyboards are supported, controllers are recommended. It said that for about like three seconds. Uh, this is a game that was made in Unity Game Engine, which is why I believe that my computer can actually handle it, because the Unity Engine is extremely well optimized, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, how to play Jelly Brawl. Move here. Tap to move the jelly. Uh, not... what the fuck. Is it like... is it... Oh, it's... That is so weird. That is so weird. You can use WASD and space to move like that. What the fuck just popped up? What is happening? Everything just stopped. Oh, uh... Okay. Part of it- part of it might be because my game is really- My computer is really shitty. Oh, but it's a game like that. That's actually- Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, this is actually... This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Alrighty. Unlock new stages and modes of by leveling up. Oh, wow. Listen to this music. That music was actually, like, really good. I was... Wow. That was pretty hype. Welcome. Play with up to four players in classic mode and fight to be the last jelly standing. Other game modes and contact and content beyond level 3 can be unlocked within the full game. Is this not the full game? Uh, is this not the full game? I mean, I didn't see anything. Oh no, really? Really? There's nothing? What do the settings look like? Game, audio, graphics. What are the qual- what's the quality? What's the quality? Anti-aliasing? Habro quality? Quality jelly? Slime toggle? Oh man. Wow. Uh, go back. That's a really strange back arrow, by the way. That's like that's a that's a forward arrow, not necessarily a back arrow. Damn, is this not the full game? I thought that this was the full game. That's that's on that's a shame. We're gonna play it for a little bit though, unless. No, 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 no. Connect the join. It will will it pin me against bots. I hope it'll pin me against bots. This this music though. And then it just changed. So it does pin you against bots. That's good. Oh my god, this is actually really... Oh, fudge. Wow. This is like really difficult to control. This music is so hype. That's so hype. That music is actually so nice. I wish, I wish so much that I could create something like that. That sounds amazing. Oh, I can change, I can select a face. That is so cool. That is actually amazing. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. Like this is, this is, it's so simple, but it's amazing. Like that is awesome. That is awesome. And everything is different. And I'm also I'm, like, I'm, well, this is really difficult to control. Come on, go, go, just get the, get off. There we go. Oh, fudge. Oh, good. I almost, I almost died. But I think I got it. Damn, I love this. I love this sound effect so much. That music is awesome. But this is a really great game. I'm, I'm actually really glad that I was able to still play this game. Oh, that was it. Nice. I'm actually really glad that I was still able to play this game on my own without any, having any local players. So maybe, maybe that's something to do in like a, uh, a stream or something is get a few, 
get a few people to play. But it looks like that there is no online support yet. Uh, or at least that the full game hasn't come out. This might be a pre-development uh, release for Steam. Or at least it was. Because it, it, I think it said version 1.0 in the bottom right corner at the start of the screen or something like that. Whoa, whoa what the fuck? It wasn't letting me move. I, I couldn't move. It was, uh, what? Is that, that better not be the end of it. I better, I better, no, I have to go, I have to go continuously. That's, that sucks. That is really cool though. Wow. Whoa. Shit, shit. This is actually difficult. Like you can't, you can't just like spam click because then it will not work. It doesn't work at all if you spam click. Yeah, come on, hurry up. Just restart, restart. Come on. Go get the, you got to get the thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that was- I was just spam clicking that and like the, the controls of this are like uh, It's it's there's a learning curve simply put there is a learning curve with the controls Because it's not like you just click and you go there or even if you go in that direction. It's like uh, I guess it's velocity. Whoa, what the fuck? I guess it's velocity based because I guess um like if you if you if your ball's right here and you click right here, then you're gonna go like slow. But if you if you if your ball is right over here, uh, I think that's in frame. And you click over here, then you're gonna go faster. Um, I think I think that's how it works at least. This music is so hype. I wish I could create something as simple yet like just just awesome at the same time. What is the where? Oh my god, like, it is actually so difficult. It's a very, it's a very creative idea for, um, making a, what do they call it, battle royale though, around this. Cause it is effective and it would definitely work as, as a battle royale idea. Get the thing. Like, why am I so, fudge. But on that round, it was the same as the last time too. I was a lot bigger than him, than the calm computer. Only on that level though, and I don't know if that's necessarily a bug. Or what? Because this is in pre-release. Well, clearly it said in pre-release. Because I have to wait for the full game to come out for some of these other things that I have to do. Um, but I really like it. Like, this is this is really cool. And this music, I can't, I can't praise it enough. It is so awesome. Oh, that might be a little bit of a bug, though, that um, I still have my... Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. But it might be a bit of- Oh, shucks! I was gonna say, it might be a bit of a bug that I still have my shield or whatever that power-up is from the last time. I'm not- I wasn't sure if I was necessarily supposed to have that. It might just be a bug. I'm not entirely certain. You gotta get that, and then you go- Oh! Whoa, wow. Oh my god. I also- I also really like, like, the physics of it. Um, and how- how some, like, the jelly moves about. It's- it's- it is well developed and very awesome. Like I think, uh, what, what was that? Like the, uh, like the current popular battle royale or something? Not Fortnite, but like it's like Fall Guys or something like that. Whatever that one is, I'm pretty sure it's Fall Guys. I think this has the potential to be like the next Fall Guys, because it is very similar and stuff like that. Like, I think that if this had been produced, shit. I think that this, if this had been produced by someone with like the credentials, if that makes sense, of like the big companies, like that, like that kind of stuff. So I think I think literally if the company that produced Fall Guys produced this game, that it would have been just as just as popular as it, if not a little bit more popular, perhaps. Oh, I could have jumped. No, I can't. I tried jumping and I can't jump. That's unfortunate. All right, but let, let's see. Let's see what other stages I unlock. Cause it said that I unlocked a, a different stage or something. Yeah, skip. E no. All right, cool. Local. Um, custom race. Can't do any of that. Available in full game. What is the full game? I don't think that there actually is a full game. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe like I said, the full game is just perhaps not out yet, and this is a pre-release or something like that. Skip. Um, I do wish that it, uh, as part of the local thing, because, I mean, it's local 
for a reason like it's just you playing as it is right now like it's literally me against this computer right here who is not poorly developed but like i don't know like that, that that's a calm for sure like you can clearly tell it's a calm and it might literally just kill itself if i if i go over here it might just kill itself yeah bam look at that easy but um shit what was i gonna say what was i gonna say oh right local play i feel like that for local play you should be able to select a map uh like of your choosing also look see i'm bigger than the the guy again i don't know if that's by design by choice though if this calm like if the wolf calm or something is just small but still i don't know if that's a bug or something cool Oh my god, I... That power-up is so confusing to use. Good lord. This is really fun, like... I really wish that the online online version of this game was developed by now, because I'm... I'm I... Well, one, I'm genuinely surprised that my computer is actually able to handle this. Handle this game, which just goes to show you how optimized this game is, and like how, how little... It, uh apply how little how much li how little effort it takes for your computer to actually run this game but that could also just be be because it's in pre-release and there's not that many features so there's not that many things for the game to like actually load and process for example my my computer specifically might tank might absolutely tank with this game if i were to play on uh the wi-fi or or online if i were to play online my computer might tank, but I don't know. It might not. I, I like there, I don't really have like a lot of criticism for this game. Um, one of the few critici criticisms that I have is that that speed power up is extremely difficult to use. Um, I don't necessarily understand how to use it. Oh, also, there's this bug thing. Like, I, like once again, I also don't know if it's a bug, but like. Why am I sometimes bigger than the calm? I don't understand that one. Um, so that might just be like out of an, an out of an ordinary thing or not. I'm not I'm not sure. But your UI, like the the game develop the game's UI is actually very well developed in my opinion. Alright. Um come on, just just get off the get go. Oh my god. Go, 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 go fall off fall off oh shit i he baited me he baited me i got baited by a computer oh no but um like like the ui and all the screens that pop up and how everything flows on the menus and all that that is extremely well developed i applaud you developers for that and the, your text choice is absolutely superb great font in my opinion it really fits it fits like the the feel of the game if that makes sense um, the other thing that is is sometimes confusing, like I said, is some of the controls. And like you, like uh, like you guys said, the game developers. Whoa! All right, I'm actually gonna pay attention to this one. Oh, it's like conveyor belts. That's cool. That's a neat game mechanic. But um, li like you guys said, the game developers, controller is recommended. While it does, while there is support for keyboard, mouse, controller is recommended. So it might be easier with a controller. Um, and just be pretty difficult with a mouse or something. I don't know. Um, or at least with a mouse and keyboard. With a keyboard, I'm actually really surprised that there's keyboard support for this. Because you you aim with WASD as you as I, as I showed you guys. I'll, like, look. WASD. I'm not dying just yet. Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, on a winning streak. So I don't want to die. Ooh, boss round. Nice. Nice. But, um. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to pay attention. Because I don't want to stay inside the square see that's cool do you just have to like control it by the end of the thing or just get as many points as you possibly can all right i'm actually like focusing because it like like the game said it's a boss round shit 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 so i'm going to actually try really hard on this one also, I'm really sorry if there's like a lot of mouse clicking, mouse clicking sounds, but that's just how you play the game. You just got to click the mouse a lot. So sorry about that. This is, this is really cool though. I actually like really like this game and, it, and it's, 
Um, the only thing, the only little bit of concern that I have to say for some of the, oh my god, damn, holy crap, for the, gotta focus, there's one, nice, um, the only, only thing that is a little bit disappointing, and like I said, local player, I believe that in local player, you should have the option to go, um, like, kind of like endless mode like this is, or like, at least in a some kind of mode oh god come on come on god i like whoa no 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 Ooh, come back nice but i feel like that local local player you should be able to like actually choose what you're doing like maybe choose a map and choose how many people you're playing against as opposed to local player is okay here here's your option you're gonna play against one comm for five rounds and then you're gonna play against two comms for another five rounds and then every five rounds you add a comm until you get up to four i mean i just i just feel like it shouldn't be like that for local player like perhaps there's like in local player there's a choose your own option a choose your own option fuck i was i i was too busy talking but perhaps there should be a choose your own option and a like an endless not not like endless mode because that's not the right description for whatever this is that we're doing right now. But I just feel like there should be something where the player themselves can manually choose what to do. But the level design on these games is actually very like very well developed. Like it they're very creative. The level design is very creative and extremely effective for what this game is. I genuinely enjoy it, and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Um, so I'm gonna see how far I can go. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna wait unless I can. All right, let me just let me just kill this guy real quick, or die to him. I guess would be better. So uh, I'm gonna I'm going to see what would happen if the timer runs out, if it's sudden death, or what would happen when the timer runs out. If maybe there's a bug there or something i don't know let's let's find out i think that in for in local player at least like there shouldn't be any consequences to it i don't know well i haven't even seen what what happens when the timer runs out so i guess it's good to check but i guess i can't check if the comm just kind of kills itself oh fuck. all right that one i had to kill him because i was i was going out of control there so sorry all right this one this one good this is a good map to to let the timer run out you gotta be really careful with trying not to hit him, but also trying to leave him to like. Yes, there we go. There we go. Don't, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Stay over here. All right, good. If I can just keep him here without going too far to the side, then I can see what happens when the timer runs out. Oh, so now that's creative. That's cool. Because especially with local player, it is about surviving rather than um, necessarily getting your opponent off the screen. And that, that's a that's a good way to handle that instead of just like everyone loses or something like that. It's a it's a good way to handle it. Boss round tag. Don't be the last one it. Now see, one of the issues with this and tag in general, especially with comms, is that you could literally just wait till the last second to tag someone and then just run. Oh shit. And then just run away so like it wouldn't it would not be complicated at all i like that spinner in the middle though that's a creative game uh gameplay mechanic but like with comms and tag like it's a little broken i feel like perhaps the game developers should develop a comm specifically or an ai specifically for tag and some of the mini games instead of just having the default ones which try to knock you off all the time just my thought on it Will it? Will they be able to kill me if I just kind of sit in the middle? My hands are off the keyboard, by the way. So I want to see if they're able to kill me if I just, like, stand right here. Alright, well, I mean, now they knocked me off, but... If I just stay right, right here in the middle, they're not able to attack me and do anything about it. Easy. Easy peasy. You can hear that. I don't know if you guys could have heard that, but there was still some collision sound after... Um, so that so you guys can tell that because you guys were still hearing that collision sound after the fact that the level had ended is that this right here that drops down that's just an overlay like it's just a text overlay and it's not loading a new scene and like it's not getting rid of all the getting rid of or even pausing for that matter everything that's going on in the screen itself 
it's just it's letting it happen still but the text is essentially over top of it so i want to see if i can duplicate that by surviving until the end see if you guys can still hear some of the slime sounds not entirely not at that time at least all right and this is this is actually where i died last time i think this map this this map i guess yeah the map that one right there whoa how did he do that how did he do that that is glitchy that was a glitch wow boss round incoming level up let's go guys this is further than i got before don't get bonked oh that's cool that's actually really cool Although it is a little bit unfortunate that it. Wow, that was pure coincidence. But as I was saying, a little interesting that it was, uh, shoot, that it was what? No, I don't, I actually didn't want to restart. No, I didn't want to restart. Is there, now we can test, is there a pause menu? There is a pause menu. Good to know. Um, but I wanted to, I wanted to see, not see. With that level, the, the hammer level, that's that's what I was talking about, was the hammer level. It's kind of just like survive for 30 seconds. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, it's just like, I just feel like with comms, it's not worth it. And then once again, perhaps you should develop a comm specifically for the mini games that you encounter, like the tag, the circle one, and the hammer, hammer mini game. Those are the only three that I encountered. I think that there was, no, there was only those three games. I'm pretty sure. But here is the end screen. Thanks for playing. We hope you are enjoying Jelly Brawl Classic, and we'll consider wishlisting Jelly Brawl on Steam. I certainly will, game developers. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully the game devs watched it, and hopefully they hear some of my feedback. That would be super cool if you guys got in touch with me, because this is actually uh, a really amazing game. So, congratulations, guys. You, got, you guys have really got something going on here. I can't wait for the online and the editor. I will definitely be back revisiting this game whenever whenever that happens that was jelly ball Crass jelly brawl classic everyone not jelly ball classic thank you guys for watching this video if you guys want to consider supporting the developers go check it out on go check it out for yourself and like they said give it a wish list if you want to see more of my content check the annotations at the end of the video or go to my channel's home video page there you can see more of my general content as well so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like if you're new to the channel subscribe and as always, I'll see you guys another time. <laughs>